Yahusha versus Jesus, unveiling the deception. Today we're diving deep into an often overlooked part of religious history, unveiling a deception that's over a century old. Many have believed for centuries that the savior of the world is a person named Jesus. This name, Jesus, has become a universal name, yet this name is not the name of the true savior. Now we will peel back the layers of time to uncover a profound deception. We start with the Roman Emperor Constantine in 325 AD. His goal? To fuse his empire under one faith, and this would require a single deity or God. A savior, yet a false savior. Was this savior the true one whose name was Yahusha? No, it was not. But we are about to peel back the layers of this deception. To understand, we must look at two other deities that were decided by the council that was at Nicaea in 325 AD. Zeus, a revered Greek god, and Krishna, an avatar in Hinduism. Was the name Jesus Christ born from the fusion of these two entities? An amalgamation meant to hijack the true savior's identity? Yes. Jesus, Zeus, was combined with Krishna, Christ, to equal Jesus Christ, a false name. The savior's original name was Yahusha, which means Yahuwah is salvation as recorded in ancient Abari Hebrew text. Yet, his name was transformed, twisted into something unrecognizable, obscuring his true identity. For generations, many have called on the name Jesus. Yet, this name doesn't hold the significance or the power of the true Savior's original name, Yahusha. Has this name change separated us from Yahusha's true essence and mission? Yes. It's impossible to say you know someone without knowing their name. Most are oblivious of this alteration. A world of thought to be believers unknowingly ascribed to Jesus, which is a manipulated image and not the true savior, Yahusha. The original name, Yahusha, is more than a historical footnote. His name is a key to his divine purpose, which is a beacon light guiding us back to the original teachings, prophecies, and who his father is. In fact, his name points to who the Father is, Yahuwah. He said, I have come in my Father's name. Jesus sounds nothing like the Father Yahuwah. Yahusha sounds very close to the Father Yahuwah. By recognizing this truth, we regain a vital piece of our spiritual heritage, reconnecting us with the authentic Savior's name Yahusha that's been purposely hidden from us. This revelation challenges us to seek the truth buried under centuries of deceptions. We owe it to our personal faith to acknowledge the Savior by his true name, Yahusha. And now that he sacrificed himself for the world, he has now been given the name above all names, Yahuwah HaMashiach. Messiah. As hard as it may seem to believe, the fact is that there was never an actual being who walked on the earth whose name was Jesus Christ. This was a made up figment instigated and promoted by the Roman Emperor Constantine. As we come to terms with this discovery, we can revitalize our faith around this profound truth developing a more genuine bond with Yahusha. So it's clear 
in the Yahusha versus Jesus debate what the truth really is. We reveal the deception and uncover the truth. The Savior's name was Yahusha. He's now been exalted and is Yahuwah, Hamashiach, the Messiah. Again, Yahusha means Yahuwah saves. You now have an opportunity to call on the only name that leads to salvation. Yahuwah, call on his name. Continue with us on this journey of unearthing truths hidden within our faith. Remain vigilant, stand strong, and always live by the truth.